welcome to the Critical Twits first ever unboxing. I'm Brian Ennis. I'm Aaron Vinsky. And I'm Joe Lloyd. And I backed Modifius and Fryer Lycan's new tabletop RPG Genlab Alpha at, what did I just say? The... Tribe uh, leader? Tri- no, Tribe Alpha. Tribe Alpha. Tribe Alpha. Yes. About, oh, back in February time. So that was ooh, four months, five months ago. Four or five uh, months a ago. A selection of months ago. Which is really quick, actually, for a Kickstarter it is, actually, game. Yeah. Um, and it arrived today. Here it is. I have a feel of that, Joe. Feels it's, like it has books in it. Yes, it's fairly. Oh, my wrist. Yeah, fairly. <laughs> See, hefty. Being, not being a hobbit, I don't think that's that. Um, ah, it's heavy. <laughs> this game is a sequel to Mutant Year Zero. And it's also kind of a standalone expansion. It's the same world, similar rules. You yeah. can use them together or you can use them separately. Yeah. Uh, and we talked a lot about that game. We played a big campaign of that game. Joe died. Um, in fact, most people died yeah, at I least once. It's very brutal. And that's yeah. something that, uh, that we like. Yeah, so um, we'll pop a link down there down there, down at the bottom, in the wordy box bit. Uh, so you can click on that if you want to hear us talk about that, but not him, because he wasn't about then. He was dead, no, dead no, in a hole. No, yeah. Cool. Um, I have the sacred knife of unboxing. Can we trust yeah. you with the sacred knife of unboxing? Power. <laughs> um, so let me surgically enter the box. I'm quite excited. Yeah. I am a little bit actually. Yeah, I've, I've been waiting for really... this to come all week, and I've got I've got quite. Right, if I hold that up, then you can Ooh. not not break the. I should cut away from you, yeah, shouldn't I? Yeah. Look at this. Look, that you're getting a, a, a safety safety lesson. tips. Now, in about two years' time, when Britain has left the EU, <laughs> um, we will do an unboxing with chainsaws. Um, possibly yeah, we'll uh, back something else just to do that. Yes. Yeah. So here's a list of contents. Oh. These yeah. are all the things all that the hopefully things. you can read. So yeah, so, make sure we've got everything. All yeah, that's there. good. So we'll we'll sort of open things let's up. Look at, let's look at these ones. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So what we've got here, first dice. of all, more dice. Yeah. More dice. Are they different in any way, or are they just more of the no, six and They're dice. more of the same dice. They're lovely um, dice. You can use d6s for the game, but these are a selection of special dice just for this where you've got three different colours yep. uh, for your gear, for your stat and for your skill and they have special symbols on the ones and the sixes uh, to represent good things bad things. Yes. Uh, right, now at this level of pledge um, we also got another copy of Mutant Year Zero, the original game, uh, and there is a deck of cards here which if we have a look on the back you'll be able to see uh, include mutations, include events for the arc that you live in, and include artifacts from the wasteland that you uh, can pick up, find on your journey, including some related to the plot. So we might have a look in there in a second. I think we jump back to the dice quickly. Yeah, Here we good. have the ones and sixes for each type of dice. Yeah. Uh, you can see here the green ones are your attribute dice, so nothing bad happens on a one. Because, uh, well, you just did it that's wrong. That's skill. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's sorry. Skill. So yeah. That's skills, yeah. Intelligence <laughs> <laughs> attribute. <laughs> <laughs> you then have the yellow ones that have the uh, the biohazard symbol, this one. Yeah. And the radioactive symbol, this one. They do have the numbers on as well, which is nice, um, just in case you're confused. Yeah. Because it's a chance of your mutation going wrong or being extra amazing. Well, yeah. six yeah. is always good. And then for the gear dice, uh, where are we? There we go. Uh, you can see the gear breaking and the six. Again, six is being good, and it means that if you can tell how you failed. Yeah. So whether you weren't quite up to it physically or mentally, um, yeah. whether your lock picks broke if you were trying to pick a lock, or whether or not um, it was just your skill at, at picking locks that... Yeah. Um, what's quite good, so if I've got here, let's say I'm firing a gun in the game, um, and I have... Two, two in my dexterity, dexterity. Is it agility. Yeah, agility. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Um, two in my shoot. skill, in my shoot skill, and the gun itself gives me a dice. I would roll all of these, like so. Ooh. That's quite good actually. Yeah. I uh, don't know if uh, if you can it see can on there, but these ones are 
basically not relevant and I got two successes two successes there which normally means I could spend one to actually hit and do the damage of the weapon and one to do something cool. extra yeah. like knock them over knock their gun out their hand do a bit of extra damage yeah. that kind of thing yeah. cool that was a nice roll yeah good that's, that's the cool. only good roll we are going to be playing this at the actual gen lab alpha tonight yeah we're doing uh, that quite one. excited about doing this um, um, that's the only good dice roll you're going to get yes. this is the first time we've actually going to be playing you as well yeah. yeah, not from a, not from a. I've yeah, I've run, I ran a whole campaign, but I never got to play as a mutant. So mm. I am quite excited. And you still won't, because you'll just play as one of the Gen Lab wheels. <laughs> I might. Ah, you can take a mutation as well. Be tainted. Yes. Yeah. Cool. And we've got some cards here. Uh, some for mutant uh, Gen Lab Alpha now. So we've got some of these. These Ooh. are good. Um, I mean, these these cards have have actually been a massive help when we've been playing mutant before. They are yeah, really, really nice. useful just to have them out in front of you yeah. on the thing without having to copy up lots of text or remember how things yeah. work. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, the constantly referring to books. I mean, we, yeah. we praise things like Malifaux for having cards with all the rules on it, and this yes. is basically the same thing yeah. for a role play game. Yeah. Really, really helpful. So we've got 21 animal power cards, 31 artifact cards, and 4 mutation cards. Ooh. Is that we can have mutations? Ooh. So is there as 4 well. new mutations? There might be 4 new mutations. Ooh. They might Oof. be the ones from. The deep sea edition. Oh, they might cool. be brand new ones. We'll oh, have okay. a look, and I will uh, try and work. Do you want out. me to open those while we're carrying on? With um, the next we'll have a look through, we'll and then what we'll do is we'll work our way okay. through. So we'll sort of show everything in the box off first, I think. So, oh, that was quite. That was more fun than it should be. <laughs> Exposing <laughs> its innards. Yes, very much. So all the shiny things. There we go. So here's the games master screen. Okay. Okay, do we want to open that up and show people? Yeah, we'll open yeah, we'll it. Do. We'll, we'll do that. We'll just sort we'll of go, go through, we'll go through it briefly. Minute, yeah. yeah, kind of did the dice out of order, but that can sit over there. Uh, we have, as I said, a copy of Mutant Year Zero, the original uh, game. Yeah. So what we've got here is the third zone compendium yeah. uh, for Year Zero, but including um, a Gen Lab Alpha stance here. Uh, die meat eaters die. <laughs> so this is the vegetarian um, adventure pack. <laughs> yes, um, Peter, I'm sponsored by Peter. You know, <laughs> I've got the other two, um, so that will go nicely into my collection. I'm liking the look of this one already. This is a starter booklet to get you playing Mutant Year Zero straight away. So it's like the nice shiny, the, yeah, the rainbow reflections. It makes it look a lot nicer than it actually is when you play. Yeah, I was going to say it's it's normally a quite a. Uh, a dark horrible setting or at least yeah. in the mind of Brian yeah other people might play it as a lovely rainbow strewn wonderful yeah. landscape but yeah yeah it looks does look sort of bright um, and colourful well, but also still kind of crappy and horrible at yeah. the same time yeah that's quite cool we've got Gen Lab Alpha, Gen Lab Alpha that itself that is as big as, as the mutant. actual yeah. mutant book yeah. well because it can stand alone yeah so there we go Gen Lab Alpha I love that picture yeah that's uh, a pretty scene card as well. Stuff. It's uh, some of the animals. Ah, he's cool. Yeah. yeah. I like the size difference here between sort of the bear and the ratty mouse guy stood on his shoulder. Yeah. Mm. And it's quite quite good. Um, you know, maybe being able to play characters of those sorts of different sizes <laughs> could, could be quite fun. You could actually play mouse again. Yes. <laughs> but having a character riding on another character yeah, always yeah. amuses me. I'm oh, really so this is the last thing. And the last it? thing, so, so we can we'll get rid of the box. And we have the Maps and Markers pack. Woo! So there we go. Here's the Maps and Markers pack. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got everything open. Uh, what's in the Maps and Markers pack? I'm hoping there's some Markers and some Maps. Oh, would you like um, the Knife of Destiny? Oh, what is it? The Sacred Knife of Unboxing? Is that what I called it earlier? I don't know. I've just named it something just else. Just trying to be very careful not to break anything, oh. but also to look sort of forensically precise on the internet <laughs> Take that off you. as we know YouTube is all about visual panache yeah. so this is the year zero zone map yeah that's the year zone, year zero yeah. zone map because we got this with year zero we have uh, London yep. and we have New York it's looking slightly more oh, okay I've, yeah. I've never actually looked at the other side of this 
Did you not? No. no. The one that we actually, one. the one we actually used, we, I got this blown up bigger and laminated it so we could yes. draw on it and stuff. Yeah. So that one, is... which I would advise to anyone, because yeah, it was really, really, really good. Slightly yeah, because it really helps one. with the role play and stuff as well. Because you're, you'd be getting your map out and drawing on where yeah. we've been, Doing and then sometimes we go, have we been yeah. there? We've, we drew a thing. What happened? Yeah. yeah. And, and then, then this is the nice. zone map two. So, yeah. What I don't have so far, unless it's lurking, which it doesn't look to be, is. The Gemma Alpha map. No. There we go. So we've got two answers on a postcard as to where this is. Yeah, if you're good. Uh, you might win a biscuit. Yes. You might win. Uh, yeah, I will send you a biscuit. Hit us up on Twitter. <laughs> we'll give you the Twitter address below in the box. Is this a UK only deal? Um, I don't know about the rules and regulations for yeah. international biscuit supply. <laughs> uh, so maybe. Uh, we've got some tokens here as well. There we go. Oh, what for keeping track of our food and guns and stuff. Yes. And bullets and stuff. Oh, okay. So we've got what appears to be radiation, yeah. uh, rads, and food. Uh, here we have some, show you guys on this one, we have some water and bullets along yes. with, no, just, just different, different types of bullets. Types of bullets yeah. yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. That's cool. And what's in the last? There, that's oh. a piece of card. Just to stop it from falling apart. Yes. Very exciting. Uh, we'll have a quick yeah. look at the, at the We'll show the original card, card yeah, deck the original and then show cards. the new one, see if there's any difference. Yeah. Can't get in. I'd make it like an action film. <laughs> <laughs> Lacking in plot and yes. um, with shiny effects. Aaron, if you could put some explosions in while he was doing no. There we go. <laughs> um, so, there we go. We've got Sorry. a deck of artifact cards. I just, just flip them over and show them what an artifact uh, looks an artifact like. An artifact like that, so it'll yeah. tell you something on the back that you shouldn't look at if you're a player. Um, <laughs> but we'll give you the, the details. Now, these, they're the threat and the mutation cards come together. Um, you can see, very pretty. And then they've got details on the back. So as someone well, that ran it, Brian, what's a threat card? Uh, threat card is each week in Mutant Year Zero, or each gaming session or plot arc, depending on how you do it, um, you draw a threat card and it tells you what is threatening the survival of the mutants um, that day. Cool. So let's have a look at these ones. We'll open these ones up properly. Yeah, because I think we're a bit excited. Yeah. Do you want to Although, open this, Aaron? You're not, you're not really having much fun. It's, <laughs> it's really nice. <laughs> yes. Let's have a... It's got one of those... You know when you get that... You know you get that little bit of extra plastic. Yeah, it's, it's, like, a... it's got one of those, but I can I very rarely get those to actually work. Ooh. Oh, this is the sign of a quality product. It yeah. is. Everything so far has felt very nice and yes. very sturdy. It's, it's hard it's to put across how I mean strong those cards feel in your hand. Yeah. Th that, that's one of the things I will say. Like from playing their other, from playing Year Zero before, and now looking at this stuff. It, they they haven't like skimped on anything. The dice are a decent weight. They're a decent uh, quality. They don't feel like they're going to chip or anything like yeah. that. They're generally just it's it's very very good stuff. They are they are new by the looks of it. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Okay. Uh, we've got some artifacts that Which yeah we're not going to look at. A load of artifacts. Say ruining our own game, but they're normally like you saw before, like a air mattress or. There we go. Something uh, could be a grenade, could be some medicine, could so, I mean, be something you'd find in some everyday trousers. Like, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, no, actually. <laughs> for for amounts, yeah, there, there are a lot of different yeah, things. Yeah, 30 odd there. of those. And then we've got animal powers. I really like the back of these. I think they look quite cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I will get this like centered one day. So, oh, that's uh, fine. Look at that. Um, so and then, kind of so we've got, got, there you go, there's one, that's amphibian. And now that's what you thought was a mutant power, that's, isn't it? Because yeah. there is a mutant power that gives that's you a very similar, similar yeah. Yeah. So we've got amphibian, say when. Go there. Uh, flight response, you have strong instincts to flee people. when you are in danger. <laughs> so you can play like a little prey animal, that's quite cool. So it would be out there, so Say when. <laughs> When Brian uh, nocturnal, you prefer being active at night. Um, I have this card in real life. I uh, <laughs> don't quite, like mornings. One of the things that is quite nice is you get a little bit of flavour text and the rules on the cards. Yes. Um, 
it's not just a boring you get this and you get this yeah um, again it just feels like they've put a bit of effort into it yeah it helps everything flesh out a okay. it feels very starter friendly like there's enough yeah. depth in it that veteran role players like ourselves are oh, enjoying it. it but I don't feel uncomfortable introducing this to somebody who's never role played before I can no. go you do this Okay, that makes well, sense. I've got there. a tail. It says I have a tail and I can use it to do stuff. Yeah. I can do this and yeah. this. Cool. This says tail. You have a long, magnificent tail. <gasps> Beautiful. Uh, which increases your balance. Um, you can use it to move, climb or form any acrobatic action. Uh, get plus two. And then you can use your tail in a dominance conflict. Let's have a look in here because it's something that we can open. Joe, open it up. <gasps> can I use the knife? Um, as long as you're careful. Oh, are you upset? <laughs> I let you open the last thing. So you did, then you took it off and halfway through the rest of it. Did I really? I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, you got excited. Okay, no, so I am. I genuinely don't want to upset you. The mutant screen here. Yes. Um, so We're screening all your mutants. <laughs> Tell I don't get out much, can't you? So, as a as a player, you will be seeing this side of it. Yes. As your um, games master hunkers down behind here and does secret things. Mostly, probably he actually throws that face these all the time. at them, probably. Yeah. Um. But individually, not as a pack. Um, so, should we flip it around and show them what's on the other yes, side? Yes, I think. Because that's actually quite very useful. nice again. Yes. They've put a lot of thought into these things. Ooh, I think showing that, what that camera is probably getting yeah. yeah. Just some angles, there you go. Uh, that bit. Yes. Yeah, the bit. Cool. Yep. Yeah, so you can see you've got tables, charts, uh, things like that. Now, Which as someone good. that has DM'd or GM'd or whatever a lot of our games, yes. and has used a variety of different screens. Yes. How does that match up? It's nice. It's sturdy. Um, it's it, got. It looks nice and yeah. thick and. I like how being sturdy is an important factor in a DM screen. It is. is it because. People are, as I said, going to throw stuff at you or just so it doesn't... Uh, yes, it means could, that I could can hide behind it. Could it take a French fancy to the face? <laughs> uh, yes, it could take a French fancy and repel its cakey goodness uh, intact. Uh, and actually, it's kind of slightly gloss, so it's probably quite easy to clean as well uh, if you were to be caked. <laughs> For your spitting players. Let's have a look at the main book itself before we yeah. start looking at the yeah. add-ons. There we go. Here's the book again. Mm, look at it. Look at it. So what is it? How many pages? 233 pages. There we go. Cool. Um, we've got lovely colour maps here and here. Um, yeah, the artwork in these books is very, very and nice. And just mm. as a quick look here, look, everything is colour all the way through. Yeah. There's no random black and white, there's lots of illustrations, lots of pictures, which I find as a DM fairly something that I like, something I like to see as I flick through, because I'll be coming up with an idea for that that night's game. I'll see these two here, for instance, and I'll go, ah, they're cat and a dog and they, they should hate each other, but he's help, helping him out. What happened? I'll make that, I'll put that into my adventure. Yeah. I like to take some of the ideas. Yeah. So um, we've got the rules at the beginning. Always in fact, you've got your background first of all. Uh, you live in paradise, your home is a vast valley surrounded by mountains so high the peaks are covered with snow all year round, etc, um, etc. Et but paradise is a prison. Walls and fences buzzing with lethal current block all paths out of the valley. Um, and the idea of Gen Lab Alpha is you are going to play the resistance and you are going to try to escape uh, the Gen Lab, escape paradise. Okay. Um, at which point you can then move, move into exploring the wider world, etc., etc., if you so desire. Or you could just bring these characters into here. For instance, in my mutant game, we have some non player characters who we could now stat up properly yeah. so that when Joe dies again, he can take over one of those long standing NPCs. Making it seem like I died a lot. I died once. Once, but my, um, there, there had been how many character deaths by the time Kane finally. About 12. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was vicious. He did well. He could be well, Dr. Fuzzy Face. Yeah, Dr. Fuzzy Face. <laughs> You never met Dr. Fuzzy first. And I'm glad. That's not his actual, I think that's just what the player character's nicknamed They nicknamed him, him that because his face was fuzzy. Yeah. yeah. And what's your name? I'm the Doctor. 
Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, cool. Uh, so then we've got, say so you've got your introduction, you've got what is role play. So again, nice judge. little bits like Aaron said before, abbreviations for PC, XP, yeah. GM, NPC. Yeah. Nice. It, it's nicely really laid out. It, it flows really well. Yeah. yeah. We've also got nice box outs that tell you various different uh, things. A uh, little extra information. I quite like that. It breaks up. Um, I have a very magpie-like attention span. I jump from thing to thing and mm. all shiny. Uh, uh, so having little box outs that will break up the reading, I like. Um, we've got a section on building your animal. Mm. Uh, building your animal. Build, still building your animal. Skills. So sort of going into the rules. Uh, chapter 4, talent. We've got talents, so sort of like feats, extra abilities. Um, yeah. The talents being the ones that work for, based on your particular... There are general thing. ones yes. and there are class specific ones. Yeah. yeah. Um, and possibly being able to mix in some of the talents from here. Uh, we've got animal powers, explaining what your powers are like. Um, at conflict and trauma, so a bit of fighting, the dreaded Injury table, table of doom. Oh yeah. The the table that is single handedly responsible for pretty much all of the death and murder. Um, all, all of just, the tears, all of the mass yes. tantrums, um, yeah, the, the hideous <laughs> crippling of Colin's character. <laughs> Let, so let's let's have a bit of fun with this. Cause I like this. Do you want me to hold the book while you do some rolling? Yeah, that'd be good. I forget that other people exist and, you know, teamwork's a thing, apparently. Yeah, well, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So let's say that um, so we, we're playing. We are using a D66, so I hope Brian's got two of different colours. So we'll have tens, ooh, tens, and units, and then we'll add the two together uh, to make a number... Um, as we go, so yeah, I've just got shot. And now I normally make the player characters roll this themselves because I'm mean, uh, so they have to roll for their own fate. If I'm, uh, I am correct in thinking that is this one of those games where the DM doesn't have to roll? Um, you, no, there is there is rolling, yeah, roll, yeah. Uh, but not that Ignore much. Me. Sometimes I just make it up. Uh, so I have rolled a twelve. Uh, a twelve. What was twenty-one? Yeah. Stunned. Oh no, twenty. Oh, twenty-one. Okay, oh, so sorry, twenty-one. So well, I've been hit. Twelve would have been stunned. Nothing happens. Ah oh, yes. Oh. Twenty-one. Broken snout. It's not <laughs> lethal. You have minus one to manipulate, plus one to intimidate, and the tracker mutation is disabled. Nice. That's... That heals in two d six days. Let's yes. See if Brian can get a high roll for us. Uh, sixty-two. Yeah, we'll call that yeah, sixty-two. Yeah. Even though it's the other way around. Cool. Severed arm artery. That doesn't sound good. No. Uh, it can be lethal. Oh. Uh, it says yes, comma, minus, uh, one, minus one. Okay. Um, uh, because you will die in D6 minutes. But 65 is a pierced heart. Oh. It is lethal. Your heart beats one last time, then you die. Time to make a new PC. Yeah. <laughs> and number 66 would be a crushed skull. <laughs> You die instantly and will never experience freedom. Yay! <laughs> so this, these, these books do have their own um, sense of humour yes. to them. Um, like in the last game, if you lost empathy, you could have a nice moment of closeness with somebody yes. and restore things. Now, there are ways of doing that here. So if you lose instinct, you uh. can do different things for different animals. So if you're a dog, you can seek closeness with your pack. Oh. If you're a cat, you can groom yourself, licking and cleaning. <laughs> a rodent can burrow into the ground or hide in a dark spot. Oh. A bear, walk off from the pack and be alone. Mm. An ape can pick fleas off yourself or someone else. <laughs> a rabbit, seek inti intimacy with someone. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 hang on. Seek intimacy with someone, anyone. <laughs> Always good. Badger, oh. protect your tribe or your current pack. A oh, reptile, okay. takes a long bath. And a moose take a long water walk about in the wild. Oh, nice. That's so cool. cool. They yeah. like that. Yeah, you've got these different types of animals that you can uh, pick and play. Of which I want to play rabbit anymore. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, you love everyone, Aaron. <laughs> we go on to Paradise Valley. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not going to read these bits just because we probably shouldn't know it all. Rob will tell us. Yeah. yeah. And then you've got your job as a games master. So again, they're very good for people that maybe haven't done much of this before. Yeah. 
Um, As someone who's done lots of this before, I found that Mutant Year Zero was also very interesting because you could easily skip through the bits that they were clearly labelled as being for beginners and get into the meat fairly yeah. quickly. So that's an amazing picture. Yeah. I like the, the, the use of the the cat again, modern day <laughs> stuff. The cat with a cat hat. Yeah. Show the show the cat hat. It's very this quickly. We like the cat hat. Yeah. He's a cat. Have you got a hat? Um, We have a section on artifacts. We have a section on the escape from paradise. Uh, That's a really long section. (laughs) Yeah, that's sort of the campaign. Yes. Um, Secrets of Paradise Valley. Definitely don't look at that. No. (laughs) Don't look, Ryan. It's not for you anymore. I know too much. It's always been my problem. Uh, a bit on Genlab Alpha. These guys we've seen before. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we don't like them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the road to the zone. Oh, now yeah. the zone is where you play in mutant. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then you've got your a nice little index and expensive. character sheets. So for anyone that's interested, this is a character sheet for mutant. You have your stats. You have your skills. You have other stuff, and um, dreaded rot points down the bottom here. Rot points upset me. And experience is literally done with a couple of little dots, and when you get five... Five, yeah. you can spend a So you've got those. five of their different colours in this one. Oh, OK. That's See? really nice. Yeah. Yeah. So as soon as you move, change I noticed the a colour thing. Well done, Joe. A bit <laughs> colour blind. So, yeah, you have five means a new skill, or an upgraded something, or a new talent. Um, it's a very nice system. Yeah. Definitely. Um, um, what else has it got? Just in the, stuff. The, yeah, see now what we've got here. In um, Mutant Year Zero, you would be building your arc, which is where your mutants live. You try to develop it, you try to get purer water, more food, better defences. Yeah. In this, we appear to have a sheet, um, a few sheets, in fact, um, in order to track the resistance and to track the watchers. And they will be working, the players and the DM will work separately, so the DM will move to a different room and work out what the watchers are doing uh, while the players plot and scheme themselves. Cool. Yeah, the starter book then. This is um, Now this is Mutant Year Zero, not Gen Lab Alpha. Yeah, yeah, but it does have some animals on the front. It also has some of the robots that will be the next... These things here. It's going to be the, robots in the next one. There can be another expansion. Oh, yes. Uh, I don't want to be animals. I want to be a robot. Yeah. So what we've got here: start a booklet. Um, we've got a little bit of Just who we've well, um, Possibly... explaining some of the rules. We've got some threats that you can roll, like a, a reduced threat table. Um, other bits and pieces. What I just can... just sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I just found one of the items is is an action figure and it specifies what action figure actually is. Yes, it's a He-Man action figure. Yeah, uh, yeah so oh, that's a nice picture. Just the artwork is stunning. It oh, is. It it's is. really nice. They've actually got this so that you can take out the middle section and hand a little pack to each player. Oh, that's on nice. the back it has so on the back it has the character sheet. And then, because the way they're sort of folded around each other, on the front it has how to create your character, it has some condensed rules, and then on there it also has some explanation of how different things work. That's really cool. So each player can have one of those, and actually if we were starting again, I'd get you to do your characters on that, just so you've got it in front of you. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, even if you've got, already got the game, and you're playing it, there's some extra zones for you to investigate in here. Uh, Animal Towers. (laughs) Errol the bear. <laughs> Errol the bear. Mm, look at Errol the bear. Um, huh? Lemmy the lizard. Lemmy <laughs> the lizard. Uh, last one then, really, is have a quick look at this, which is the zone compendium. Don't want to look too much detail because don't want to ruin any of the zones. Um, but we have got uh, the zone compendium. So we've got Rabbit Kingdom. There are some maps in the middle, the maps are quite nice, and it says player maps, so the players can see this. Uh, one of the things they did in the other zone compendiums, and it looks like this is the same, is that the DM, the person running the game, will have a map with all the bits marked on it, and then the players will have a map where it just go, you can see this, Yeah. and it doesn't so have a key to version, it. Yeah. Yes, uh, and I used that with you guys a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, some yeah. Of the, 
the bits from it. Yeah, because I remember um, pointing yeah. at things to decide where we were going yeah, and that yeah. stuff. Um, and this looks to be, although it says mutant year zero, once you're out and you're exploring, um, if you're so successful, if you've got into the zone, or you're wishing to, yeah, or you're wishing to bring the animals more closely into your existing mutant campaign, these are all themed around um, bringing the gen lab out for animals in. Uh, but yeah, for something that I only ordered five months ago as we said there's plenty here to keep us going i'm quite impressed with this actually it's yeah quite, it's a nice quite haul nice. isn't it yeah. i mean how how much was your the backing that yeah. you did i think it came out a bit about 80 pounds okay comparing that to the other times you've spent 80 pounds on the yeah. play set what what do you think for value um it's great i was very much interested in sort of the extra bits the extra maps and all that sort of things why i backed it at that level um you could back at a lower level without getting the extra mutant stuff, but I assumed that we'd be playing mutant and therefore an extra book and such like would be useful. Yeah, I mean we've all enjoyed um, mutant. I mean because yeah. we've got different different sets of things we've played. We've played Cthulhu, we've played Pathfinder, we've played all sorts, and mutants one that everyone seems to have gone. This is really good. Yeah. yeah. If we were to buy all of this separately, we'd be looking at um, what? twenty, fifty, eighty. 95, 110, 125, 140, no idea how much, call that a 10, 150, plus those, call that another, about 160 quid's worth of stuff. So half, 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 half price. Yeah. So yeah, very, very, uh, very nice. Um, obviously, you if you haven't got this uh, yet, you'll still be able to pick up things separately. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to playing it. And they've kept up the quality the production is really yeah. nice. The books are sturdy. Um, I think we've not even got any of our books right. falling apart from Mutant. They've been used no. quite heavily. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah they, these are well-made, yeah. definitely well-made things. They were used every week for six months and yeah, then yeah. intermittently afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. fell apart really like a wet Really well thumbed through uh, during those yeah. points. Yes, yeah. yeah, especially until I got the DM screen, there were certain bits where I'd be like, right, I need to generate a sector quickly. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Um, very interesting, very excited to have a go tonight. We're going to play tonight. I might yeah. even make my character now before we go so we can turn up ready to go. Mm. I, I think we could do that. Yeah. yeah. Once we've prepared this for you lot, we'll uh, yeah. prepare our own. Well, we'll, 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 we'll make be... the things while Aaron edits the video. Excellent. We'll make Aaron's graphic <laughs> for him as well. Look at how much fun Aaron You can have the pink have. Captain Planet um, Ring of Love for your rabbit as well. Hot! <laughs> <laughs> That looks a bit odd on the on this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a random arm. <gasps> uh, critical twist. I was activated. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the podcast. Um, we never do that again. No. no. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, so thank you very much uh, for watching. If you've got any questions about what you you've got in here, anything that you that we maybe skip passed accidentally or didn't spend long enough on um, let us know uh, you can subscribe below you can comment below you can find us on Twitter we'll pop the links below below down down not there <laughs> yeah you can't subscribe here that's that's not a good thing to do Aaron you've made me sad um, yes you can find us on YouTube you're on YouTube uh, you can find us on Twitter you can ask us questions um, on there We've got um, SoundCloud, we've got Facebook. Yeah. 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 And the best suggestions for bunny names and what are you going to be? You're a lizard. I'm probably lizard going to be names. some sort of lizard. So bunnies were... Footballers. Footballers. And lizards are musicians. Musicians. So the now, best suggestions... Uh, we'll win a biscuit. I, I need help because I don't really do anything pre-2000 when it comes to my music and even then it has to be new metal or other crap alternative stuff no one else wants to listen to. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Gouge out your own eardrums to stop it. That's why I would have mine stopped working. It's <laughs> um, so yeah, we uh, help. Yeah. Send, send uh, yeah, answers on a postcard. Answers on a tweet. Or biscuits email. on a post. I don't understand Twitter. I think yes, magic. Post oh, we got a Facebook page as well. I forget that yeah. exists. Yeah, because yeah. you know it's Facebook. It's new and shiny. Yeah, it's new. It's far too new. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we've been kicked, dragged, kicking and screaming into two thousand and nine, and got ourselves a <laughs> Facebook page. 
Um, so yeah, contact us um, on there. And what we'll do is we'll keep you updated. We're going to play some games, uh, have some fun, and then we're going to sort of give a proper in-depth review, uh, and probably in the form of a podcast um, at some point in the near future. Uh, so thank you very much for uh, watching. Uh, I've been Brian. I've been Aaron. I've been Joe. And we are the Critical Twits. Uh, goodbye. Uh, Wave one at each. Uh, the speaking's weird. Do we get to play now? <laughs> That's got to go on after. <laughs> <laughs>